flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What is going on, my ghost squad? Welcome to Tactical Tuesday. Today is October 24th, 2017. Uh, for those of you that are uh, new to the show, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. For those of you that are the regulars, well, I hope you hate the show. And uh, it is what it is. No, but let's. Uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. Um, before we get going, let's kind of take the initial roll call. Hopefully it will... It will grow in size, but let's see who all is out there as of right now. We've got Grim90, Midnight Range TM, Rich White, the 1% Outlaw, Travis Great, and Travis Talman, Tal I'm sorry if I butcher that. Two live moves out there, angry. What's going on, guys? And let us see who is on the gun channels. We've got, well, G Webs is in here in Night Strike. You have Rich White, Dano, Moon. Rupan, what's up, Jared? Cycle Camp, Roth, and Foos, who's in here. So, uh, welcome to the show, guys. I hope you guys have a good time. We are one week away from Halloween, which is also the end of the drill of the month time. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put out the link uh, for the drill of the month. We've all we've already got quite a bit of response for them there's some awesome ones out there so if you're going to do it step up your game uh because it's going to be a good month to have to choose i hate to choose but i am going to have to but there is the length of drill of the month video um let's see here get anything going on oh so you guys are going to leave when the oh that's that's nice of you appreciate you or spam me yeah awesome uh what's up travis what's up one percent werewolf lives matter okay if you say so that's why we care for, carry silver bullets that is correct Tra other travis says try to start a feud uh, i try to start a feud with you uh you took the high road is that what you're going to call it now that's pretty awesome wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute where do i get silver bullets i don't have any of them Fuck. i bet Nobody you I, i'll be willing to bet that uh given the right materials that clover could probably make some for you can he uh, help us make, you know, uh, silver uh, shot, silver shotgun slugs? Well, he probably, he probably could do that. What's up, Deuce Driver? What's up, man? Um, yeah. All right. So I, I've got a little bone to pick here with someone in my actual uh, panel. I just got a notification that someone that I have had on the show for a while now, and I'm on his show quite a bit, and we're on a bunch of different shows together, and I thought we were friends. But apparently, we're only official friends now because Night Strike has just now subscribed to my channel. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you. I didn't know I wasn't subscribed hey, to you, so I pressed the Blake, button, all right? Blake's the best somebody for a while before he actually makes that decision. Oh, okay. So I, I'm, in, I'm in the, you know, the, what do they call it? The, uh, the, um, Oh, yeah, what they yeah, call yeah, when you first get hired. If, if I like you enough, did I allow you to spam my inbox? Oh, uh, okay. Come sweet. Uh, oh, hold on. Your I need to check and see if you subscribe to mine. <laughs> I am subscribed to yours, Ellis. If, oh. you're, if you're just a little bit more presidential, he'd be right all over you. I don't want him all over me. You know. I'm not that kind of presidential. <laughs> and I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phoenix out there says, Ghost, can you please tell my girlfriend to stop adding stay ghosty, my friends, to the end of all your videos? Uh, no, I'm not going to say that because I wouldn't say it, but you know that sounds kind of cool. So, uh Girlfriend, you keep saying it. You do you. You don't let him tell you what to do. You stay who you are and stay ghosty. Uh, let's see here. Grim says, wouldn't Clover be making gold bullets? Yeah, that's that's probably true. The, the, uh, the leprechauns like gold a little bit more than silver, but, uh, you know. No, hold it. Uh, Got to remember. Probation. Wait, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm in a probation period with uh, Night Strike. You have no, to remember. I honestly didn't know Clover. I wouldn't subscribe to you, oh, so I just wouldn't. Yeah, that's, Clover that's is the tactical leprechaun. At the end of his rainbow, you find AR 15s, AKs, and 9mm 45s, and the occasional 50 BMG. Well, you're also going to find he, he likes the, the lever rifles, he likes uh, the 22, 
He likes revolvers. So you'd find a nice little, little uh, arsenal down there for sure. Where's the rainbow right. there, Clover? Yeah, the, the rainbow of uh, fruit flavors. Uh, the fruity leprechaun. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. All right, guys, let's uh, introduce the, the panel real quick. We've got a, a stellar one here tonight. Um, I'm using that term very loosely. Uh, yeah, thank let's you. see. Yeah, yeah. From uh, South Carolina, we've got the Outlaw Hatfield, who uh, just uh, about two hours ago started up a uh, a live chat with uh, Matt from Never Enough Ammo. So it's a one on one interview with Matt. So go check that out if you want to. So Ellis, what's going on? If they want to, you're giving them a choice. God, I thought you were a friend. You know, and then it's by the not way, I just want to tell people where to go. Oh, well, okay. okay. I'm just trying to be I, nice here. Yeah. I could tell him not to go, but I won't. It was a good interview, so good job. That would be the nice well, thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> and, and see, I was just defending that asshole. You, can, you see what I have to deal with with my family? Thanks, Knight. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> that was Foose who said that. <laughs> I it was not strike. Well, speaking speaking of uh, the uh, home state uh, devil himself, uh, Foose from right here in Arkansas. What's going on, my man? Week and a half, Tulsa. Week and Wait, a half. Two, sorry, two two and a half. Sorry, two and a half. Week and a half two is going to be Capitol Rally. Two and a half is going to be Wanamaker. So we'll get yep. into both of those Wanamaker. tonight. Uh, let's see here out of South Carolina, the man who strikes at night, Jonas himself. Night strike. What's going on? Yes. 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 Hey, how's it going? Uh, we are going to do hit or miss after this. So, uh, check, check out, check that out. Uh, what we're going to talk about, who knows? It's whatever. It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss Tuesday nights, nine o'clock. <laughs> I'll stop by. It'll be a hit. All, All right. right. Uh, from the great state of Texas, my good friend, Clover Tech, how are you? What's up, guys? It's a pleasure. Um, yeah, I want to, since it's a week away from Halloween, I want to throw out the link for my Halloween uh, launcher chat there. Should be a good time. I've uh, been gathering up, gathering up some stuff for that, trying to get ready for that since we're so close. And um, I don't know, not a whole lot of people are in on that giveaway. So I jump in there and get registered to win. There you go. Uh, got a couple more links out there. We'll have some guys joining here in a second. Uh, well, there's one of them right there from Florida. Florida. What's up, Roth? How you doing, my man? Hi. Doing all right. Good, good, good. Uh, what's up? All right. Uh, and the Godfather himself, because we kind of cloned that when we were talking with Matt earlier and, uh, Ellis was talking about who got him going and all that, uh, Mr. Uh, Ego himself, Mr. Excitement himself, G webs. How are you doing? Hey, thanks, man. But... I'm not, I'm his hype man. I get people riled up for him. Uh, let's see here. Can only lead a chatter to it. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, we're waiting on uh, Cycle Camp. I guess he might be joining us here. Uh, what we're gonna do, guys, is tonight's show is gonna be just a little bit different because um, we've got some uh, some events coming up in the next uh, few weeks that we're gonna discuss. And um, yeah, G Webs is the dog phoenix, but uh, you know it is what it is. Uh, we are going to discuss one of them right now. I'm hoping that Matt can join us here. I think uh, he's got some stuff going on at the house right now, but he's going to try to join us and talk about the Capitol rally. If he doesn't, I'll mention that a little bit later. But uh, November 11th and 12th in Tulsa, Oklahoma, guys, is the Wanamaker um, gun show up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And um, it's it's the biggest gun show in the world. It's over 4,000 tables and booze and all that stuff. So um, it's it's a huge gun show. Uh, a bunch of us are going to be going up there from gun channels, uh, trying to get up there a day or so in advance to um, go to the J.M. Davis Museum there in Tulsa, which uh, G's uh, put some videos out from the Loophole Tour. It's amazing. I can't wait for that. And then we'll work the um, 
we're going to work the show Saturday and Sunday, try to get some interviews, uh, do a lot of filming and stuff with some vendors and, and two-way people from there. A lot of great content, a lot of great things going on at the Wanamaker Gun Show. So if you're able to get to Tulsa, uh, make sure you come and stop by. I think G's going to have – he's going to talk here in a little bit about it, but I think G's going to have a gun channels table – um, or a table there and we're going to be helping him work that and then do our own thing as well as trying to work the show a little bit but um, it's going to be a fun thing and, and probably Saturday night we're going to try to get together with whoever is there and maybe do a little mini two-way summit on trying to figure out a strategy to take back to everything but uh, uh, we are launching uh, um, a little event for the Tulsa show and I want to give it to G real quick and G's got some information on that so go for it G. Um, all right, so we're going to be going to Tulsa, like you just said, and since there's so many people going, we're trying to start a new side of the get-togethers where we get a house, right? So none of us can afford to just get a house, so we're going to throw it out there as a crowdfunding thing. We'll see how many people are out there on gun channels watching. Um, what a house we figure it is going to cost somewhere between five and seven or eight or nine depending on how big a house we end up needing or getting and then what the taxes are on it. But it's going to be hundreds of dollars. So what we're going to try to do is put up a, a fundraising thing, $2 for Tulsa. And, you know, we have 5,000 members of gun channels. We have probably dozens that are active every day and then hundreds that probably come in and check it out. And as a like a concept or a, a, a project here, we're going to put this out there. And if a whole bunch of people think it's cool to have a house where everybody shows up at a place like this and gets together, uh, then potentially we could do this on a continuing basis for like NRA shows and SHOT shows and other shooting events that we gather at. And uh, it's not that anyone's going to necessarily profit from it, but there's some people who've been on the fence, literally, you know, financially, Jimmy out here in Phoenix uh, can get there. I can get him there in the van, but you know, only one of us really can sleep in the van. So uh, he needs a place to hang out there, and he's not rich. So this is the kind of thing that will help some of the guys who are making the decision financially. And then for some of the guys that aren't so worried about it financially, it just gives us a place to have a community, like kitchen and living room, right? It's, you know, we can save some money, eat dinner and stuff together at the house, and then uh, have, like you were saying, a way to collaborate on some videos or something, and just probably more time than we would have if we were meeting at a restaurant or some place and then everybody had to split and go to their various hotels and then you end up paying money for a hotel to sit there by yourself watching TV when we could save a little money be at a house and you know be BS and all night with a live chat going on so it's a way to create something that's more interesting for the members of gun channels and for that reason we're gonna throw it out there as a project for everybody on gun channels and we'll see so we've got the two dollars for Tulsa which is the whole concept. One dollar goes to fees and the other dollar goes towards the project. And that's the whole idea of crowdfunding, getting a whole bunch of people to throw relatively little money at something and it accomplishes it. Yeah, and, and there's, a, there's a lot of people, uh, they're actually... Relatively uh, easily. So, hello. Yeah. Also, if, if you were wondering, you know, how many you know, they say four thousand tables. If you wonder how many, how much space that takes up, <laughs> the area, it, the building that it, it, that it, it is in, is eleven acres of building. So, and it's upstairs, downstairs. So yes. we're talking an enormous, enormous yeah. show, and it's it's awesome. They uh, said in their promotional materials that if you used the full amount of time both days. You would only be able to stop at each table for 15 seconds. Yeah, that's about right. That's how busy it is. It's crazy. Um, let's see here. Well, we, I, I know that um, when G is able to get back on the speaker, are you back yet, G? I don't even know if he knows he's muted. I don't know if. No, my computer's acting shitty. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. Um. We, we do have several of us that are going to be there. I think pretty much, well, I know that Night Strike and, and Outlaw are probably not going to be able to make it, but uh, we welcome Cycle Camp also. What's going on, Bill? Oh, not much. Just uh, it's a rainy, crummy day here in Connecticut. Yeah, isn't that awesome? But uh, 
uh, myself and G Webs and and Clover and Cycle Camp. Cycle Camp's coming all the way down from Connecticut, and Rob's coming all the way over from Florida. And uh, I think Foos is going to be up there at least on Saturday, correct? Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there Saturday only. Yeah, and I think that there is a possibility of a couple of obviously G Webs and Jimmy. Uh, there, there's a possibility of a, of a couple others coming. Uh, which is awesome. So if you're going to be in or around the Tulsa area, or if you can get to the Col- Tulsa area, uh, yeah, come on, man. It's it's going to be a good time, and we'll. Um, it's a great show just to go to a gun show. Nonetheless, um, stop by, hang out for a little bit, and um, you know you if you're will. there on Friday, go to J M Davis with his museum with us. Also, it's going to be great. At, at the gun show, you will see anything from the latest firearm all the way back into some um indian era from uh india era you know 16th and 17th century firearms i mean anything and everything will be out there and it's all for sale yeah it's awesome and and if you haven't like i haven't and, and i'm really looking forward to the show as well but one of the awesome things that i'm really looking forward to is going to the uh, J.M. Davis Museum uh, beforehand, because if you guys haven't heard about this, uh, go check out uh, Gun Website's YouTube, and he's got a couple videos um, from there, and then also in the Daily Gun Show, I think they had some videos when he was there, and we're talking about a massive collection that it's free to go to this museum, and um, you know, it's it's an awesome, awesome place, and he's it, it's really well done. I, I, I might be speaking out of turn here, and G will be able to correct me but I think that uh, that he basically donated this collection, and the state kind of took it over and made sure that it be presented in a in a positive way forever for free. And it's a pretty cool thing. So if you haven't been there, I'm looking really forward to going there. Um, Roth, um, you're making you and you and and Cycle Camp are making the, obviously the longest trips. Um, have you been to the Tulsa the, the 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 show before, Roth? Yeah, I was there last year. Same. It's time. awesome, isn't it? It's awesome. Yeah, if if you haven't made it there, guys, uh, Cycle Camp is this going to be your first one, or have you been there before? No, it's my first one. Okay, yeah, and uh, that how long is that drive? I'm not driving. I'm flying. Even better, even better. So okay. yeah, yeah, I'm going to come in Friday afternoon and leave uh, uh, Monday afternoon. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a great weekend, uh, not just for the gun show and for J.M. Davis, but, um, with everything that's happening in the two way community right now, a, a chance to, um, sit down and collaborate on some stuff and, and, and get a solid message out because understand guys in the next month, there are upwards of anywhere from 25 to 70. If you count state, uh, bills, that are anti-gun that are out there that could be hitting floors in session here pretty soon. So, um, you know, not everybody's an activist. I get that. And, and, and for a lot of you that just enjoy your guns and all that, by all means, enjoy your guns and enjoy the entertainment. But for those of you that want to get involved, um, there are some things that are coming up in the, in the next, um, month that are going to be crucial. And I put a video out this morning and I called out the big channels, um, not in a derogatory way, but I basically said, you know, and, and I was involved in this to a certain extent, a very smaller extent than they were, but, you know, I called out some people from the gun collective round table. Um, and we've all had our fun. We've all had all that over the last week. Um, but I think now, uh, you know, Yankee was talking about dividing the community and all that. And uh, my personal opinion is, is I I think we are divided to a certain extent, but that's not a bad thing as long as we can all come together when it's crucial. And it is crucial in the next month to uh, to form a strong front and and, and basically tell our legislators that uh, we are not going to stand and and not to be cliche like, you know, but the term shall not be infringed means something. And um, we need to make sure that everyone knows that. Let's pass the bills that need to be passed, and let's fight the bills that need to be fought. So um, if you're interested in doing that, we'll talk about the Capitol rally here in a minute. But, um, you know, this week has been an interesting week between the the back and forth between a bunch of channels. And, um, you know, I was was wanting to kind of put it up to the room 
And I think it might have been discussed in other chats before, but the question to the room is this. Is the gun community divided? And if so, is that detrimental to the cause, or could that help the cause in the next few weeks? I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, Night Strike, what do, you, what do you feel about that? He's Wait, muted. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the question? Okay. See, he's not even. Okay. All right. Basically, I said that the obviously the, the events over the last week have certainly, to some extent, divided, at least oh, on the oh, YouTube yeah, yeah. side, the gun community. Are we divided? And two, is that good or bad for coming together a strong uh, front in the next month? I, I don't think we're necessarily divided. I'm. I think primarily what it did was draw a line between the actual people who are for the second amendment and, and guns and the people who just like to play guys on YouTube and TV that say they're there for the second amendment of guns. But when it comes, you know, to actually, you know, put forth any effort. Yeah. They want to backpedal. <clears throat> That's my opinion. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. So, it sounds like Foose wants to respond to that. <laughs> no, um, we are not. We are just as divided as we've always been. The only thing this roundtable did is bring it to light a little bit more to where people actually see it. And yes, it did do a, 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 a dividing line, but it did the dividing line between gun enthusiasts and hobbyists versus gun culture and gun life um because the hobbyists and enthusiasts they only care about them themselves the culture and life they care about not just me but everyone out there that enjoys the, the second member and and all their rights and their children and their grandchildren and so on and so forth then looking uh past their own lifetime and wanting to preserve the freedoms that were granted that were granted to us by being born and guaranteed by the Constitution. Yeah, um, Clover, Roth, G, any of you guys outlaw? Have you guys anything to add or to uh, say about this? It was an eye test. Yeah. A lot of it is, yeah. Between the nearsighted and the farsighted. Yeah, and my, my whole thing is, is um, I think at certain points and in certain stages, uh, a little divisiveness is good because it does create conversation. If we're all on the same side and we all have the same opinion, then nothing gets discussed and nothing new gets brought up. And, and sometimes the discussion itself is more important than what the message that someone wants to put out there. It's it's discussing, well, I, I see your point, but here's my point. And you never know, the two sides might meet in the middle and say, you know what, if we galvanize this together, we're going to be pretty damn strong. And I think the biggest problem that I've had over the last few days is the initial shots across the bow were shot by multiple people, including myself. Um, but then it kind of continues to carry on a little bit and you know um it kind of got ugly at a certain point between a couple channels um and and, and that's that's between them but uh, i think what i'm trying to say at this point is we've all taken our shots across the bow we've got it out of our system it was great for entertainment uh it was great for the discussion but now it's time to refocus and say, look, how we get there, we all might agree or disagree on how we're supposed to get there. But the end game is the same. Don't take my guns and don't change the Second Amendment because here's the problem. They're, they're actually, the other side is actually being very, very smart this time. This is not 2013. This is not 1994. This is not the Brady Bill. What they're doing this time is they're introducing an enormous amount of small little what looks like minuscule bills but they're open-ended but, but they're all open-ended and they're all very very vague and when you put them all together they're going to take a brick at a time off that pyramid and eventually those are all going to grow and next thing you know the second amendment as we know it 
no longer exist. It will be a different Second Amendment if it's a Second Amendment at all. And that's and it's actually very, very smart on their part. I will say that. What we've got to do is come at all fronts, flank them from all sides. It, just because you disagree with me, well, that's fine. You flank them from this side. We'll flank them from this side. And next thing you know, they're surrounded and suffocated. But we've got to do that together instead of being divisive. And so, something I would have wished would, would have happened um, after the round table and – you know, the shots across the bow after maybe two or three shots there. I, I wish there would have been a chat with them together with the people that have fired shots, put them together, let them hash out and see what they really see. Because it's, you know, Yankee said this and then Eric veteran said that. And this person said that, come on. I mean, what are we two? Three, come on, no, right, we're adults. Right. We need to get together. We need to talk about this. And if one person blows up on another, so be it. At least they're, you know, talking in the same room and have a conversation going instead of a one-way information dump. And that's it. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, earlier today in the lobby chat over in Gun Channels, um, me and Pawnery and Dead Horse and I th you might have been there too, Foose, weren't you? No. Okay, there were several of us in the room, maybe Dano. There were several of us in the room and we were talking that exact same thing about now that the shots have been fired. And I don't even think it needs to be public. I don't even want it to be on anyone's page. I think it's going to take someone like a, a G-Webs or someone that's calm and could be a good moderator and knows all these guys to reach out to Matt and to Eric and Chad and to Yankee and to Matt and to Jaeger and to Hickok. And, and I, I don't think demo Matt at demo ranch wants to get involved. That's fine. But you reach out to these guys and say, look, I'm trying to get a round table. It's not going to be public. This is not going to go on the air. So we don't have to worry about being political. Oh. We're going to get into a room. Now, if they want to go public with it, great. That'd be awesome. But if they get into a room and say, look, what is the common message that we need to go out to all of our channels and not be political about it, but say, you know, we're going to go out with a common message. Let's fight this. Let's fight this. And let's do this. And let's do that. And we all have to be on the same page on this because if you can get these guys on the same page, we're talking millions and millions and millions of people. They'll be watching this collectively with the push of a record button. And that could be huge to get them all on the same page. It, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking. And, Put put it on a channel or put it to where they ha have a conversation, whether it be an hour, two hours, whatever, and then at the end, it has to be unanimous decision to be to let, have it released. Yeah. Ha yeah. But thing is, I mean, you have to have someone stand up enough to do to uh, adhere to that. Um, you know, or you can, if if you wanted to do an hour chat, you could sit there and say, "Guys, we're gonna be, we're not gonna, we're not gonna broadcast this for the first thirty minutes." We're going to be in a hangout. We're going to discuss it into the 30-minute mark or 45 or whenever, however long it takes to get on the on a common theme. We're going to broadcast, and we're going to show the YouTube community, the gun community on YouTube, that we've actually been here working this out behind the scenes, and now we're going to present our findings or whatever and say, here is our message. Let's help out. It's something like that. I mean, and like I said, it's not something that I could do because I don't have the clout to do that. Uh, I think the only person in this room that has the clout at all, I, mean, I think G Webs would be a great one. Not to throw that on, he's he's already got enough going on. Yeah, but he does have the clout, and he his his temperament would also be great as a moderator. But someone like that, and maybe get Hank Strange or you know someone like that who's used to talking to multiple people at once. Uh, that can maybe moderate this thing. I think it would be great to do that. And and like I said, I wish I could do it. I mean, I could reach out to everybody, but no one's going to answer me. So, so, uh, someone you know. that uh, would be excellent for this because he kind of moderates we weekly shows anyway, and uh, that would be uh, the guy from We Like Shooting. Oh, yeah. He kind of moderates his own guys all the time. Yeah. You know, and, and it's going to be one of those things. Hope oh, I got a couple of messages. Uh, what is this? Okay, uh, Phoenix. I will check that here in a minute. I'm not sure. I will check that in a minute. But thanks for the message. Um, yeah, and, and, and you've got some of these guys that are accustomed to having multiple people on, 
and all that and is not afraid to be a moderator and tell someone to shut up when they need to be told to shut up. And you've got to have the clout to do that. You've got to have the respect of others to do that. But I, I, I think that, you know, if you could sit there and get Mac and, and Eric and Chad and, and all these guys that are enormous out there as far as views go and put aside our differences for a month, you know, just to make sure that this session goes as smoothly as we can. Um, I, I think that could be huge. And, and that leads into SHOT Show and that leads into the, the two-way summit that G's trying to get going. So, you know, there's a whole lot of things that are happening uh, in the next few months. This wintertime is going to be a very, very crucial time for the Second Amendment. So we're going to need all the help we can get on trying to become a unified front and showing them like we did in 2013. Uh, uh, you might think you've got it, but you don't. And so, um, yeah, it, it's just it's just a thought, and, and that's something to see someone. Like I said, I can reach out to them, but I don't think they'd answer me. But I mean, I'll do, I might take someone. So if anyone's got contacts with Hanker or any of these guys that might you think that would be good as a moderator, then let's reach out to these guys. Um, so there's a fly on the wall. What? Whatever. <laughs> Um, do you guys, any besides Foos, do you guys think that that would be beneficial or will we be preaching to the choir or do you think this could even happen? Any, any, uh, any comments out there? I don't think you're going to get it to happen because of the, just of the, the attitude, the attitude and the, egos. um, that, yeah, the egos would be a better word and the, you know, just like just like Eric coming out when uh, when Yankee you know put out basically his fees of what he charges. You know, that's obviously not private information. He sends that out on you know request. Um, but that's something that he's just not going to throw out there to everybody because then that makes him look like a businessman, not a channel that you know engages with his audience that sort of thing. And so what I think, you know, on the on the surface it's a great idea, but I think that you're going to have. The, you, the problem is going to arise when you when you are in a hangout for an hour and those guys are hashing things out and then somebody turns the camera on. They're going to be completely different people because that's the whole point of what we're all trying to talk about with these these big creators. And I'm not knocking them for being big creators. That's that's great. But what gets me and Matt hit on this earlier, I think it was on Ellis's show about some of the big creators and how the the 2a rally just uh might not be a good fit for their brand you know how hard is it to just mention in passing that this is going on you know how hard would it would it be to show up at one of these rallies and just be seen you don't have to get up on the stump you don't have to give a speech but you know you lend your channel power to to that cause that way and you can do that without hurting your brand you're not you know you're not making a statement even in, in aligning with anything um but a lot of them are not even willing to go that far um and that's because they've solidified their brand they're the big dogs they're making the big bucks and and they don't want to they don't want to yeah. damage that in any way they don't want to get butt hurt that's exactly well i mean they don't want to damage that i mean it's just like yankee talking about him losing several hundred dollars on patreon or whatever the, them other guys they don't want to lose money either you know and that's that's the way they're viewing it, and and that's where those big guys have, have got to the point to where they really irk me because their viewership and everything, it's all numbers, you know, that's all a dollar supporter or two dollar supporter or whatever to them. That's that's what that's the feeling I get from them. But yeah, ultimately it gets into egos and bottom line, you know. And I just I don't know that you're gonna get any, um, what reconciliation I guess out of it uh, yep. because of that. No, you, you may not get reconciliation, but you'll get peace of mind that you're talking to the ones firing shots. That's the thing. Yeah, and, 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 and in my opinion, this is just my thought about it. And, and, and if it could happen, I think it would be a healing, uh, even if it's a momentary healing, to show everyone that we are a unified front. We might have differences on how we get there, but when it comes down to the Second Amendment and taking our guns, uh, we draw the line there, and, and you're not going to do that. And hopefully, maybe cooler heads can prevail. What was that? Go ahead. I think G's talking to his dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, all all you can do is try. You know? I mean, yeah. Roth, what's up? You got something going on? 
yeah, I would like for that to happen, but I think it would be better if it was kept private between those guys so they can find common ground and their people, you know how they have groups of people who are after those people, followers, they can't get into a shouting match with each other. Just uh, concentrate on common ground, find something that they, we all can agree on and fight for that, which is the Second Amendment, probably, and obviously. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was saying is, is is if you want to get into a hangouts and you don't have to broadcast it originally, go ahead and get everybody in a in a hangouts and get in this round table, whatever you want to call it, and hash out your differences in private. So no matter what, this is not going anywhere. It's staying in house. And then once whatever it is, it's fifteen, twenty, thirty minutes, an hour, whatever however long it takes to hash out those differences and collectively come up with a, a, a message. Then you could go hit broadcast, and whether it's G Webs or whoever, or Hank or whoever wants to put it on their channel, it makes no difference. Uh, you hit broadcast, and then you're live, and then at that point, you go with that message. Here's what we've been talking about over the last 30, 45 minutes, and we've all agreed upon this is what we need to do. You don't have to do it this way, but as a group, we think this might be the best way, and we're the core, you know, and, and to a certain extent. The people who watch all these channels do look at them as the experts in their in their field and a two Second Amendment expert. So if they do come out as a unified front and you've got all these different personalities that seemingly doesn't ever get along and they come together and saying, "Here it is, guys." That could be huge because we're talking millions and millions and millions of people in a, in a in an instant that could be mobilized and that that could be very very fun to watch. And I mean, like me, I. I most of those people on their own, oh, several of the people on the round table and several of the people in Yankees chat, I subscribed to all of them. Yep. Or most, let's say most of them. Um, I'm fans of all, of everyone I'm subscribed to for different aspects. Um, so it, it would be good to see them come together on air or off yeah. and hash it out as adults because we're adults. Second Amendment is something serious. Yeah, this isn't a game anymore. Yeah, you know, this is cashed out. Yeah. I mean, the, the the first night, yeah, that's fine. And then Yankee putting out that first one, yeah. I mean, could he have done it a little bit more tactful? It's yes. Yankee, so no. But I mean, that's, that's just Yankee. Tactful. That's how he is, and and yeah. that's what you do. Like about him. It. You might not like it, but I respect the fact that he doesn't care. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he could have. It could have been different, and it could have changed the whole uh, complexity of this entire week. Possibly, uh, we might not be having this discussion had a couple of these uh, big, you know, mega channels or whatever uh, done it differently. But it didn't. Like I said, it was good for discussion because um, you know I've been on YouTube for a long time. I haven't been a creator for more than three or four months, but I've been on YouTube and I've been watching all these things for a long time and. Since 2013, I haven't seen this big of a discussion than I have in the last week. You know, either side of it. And the NRA was in the middle of it, or the GOA was in the middle of it, but the gun rhetoric was strong this last week. And so that what makes me feel good about it is, yes, we might be arguing but we're talking and we're communicating and there's things being talked about. And now if we can just harness all that energy into a solid, you know, really good, strong front and message, man, 2013, you know, they, they didn't know what hit them in 2013. And I think if we can get to right now, these 25 to 70 bills that are out there that they think they might be able to sneak past, I think they're really in for um, a rude awakening. Uh, Phoenix says the dude from GOA is just a badass. Yeah, Eric Pratt is is a badass. Um, you know, um, there's a lot of badasses out there that are are willing to speak their minds, and uh, he just happens to have a platform that is extremely large, and he's doing it in front of the world on CNN and and all of these uh, news media outlets that he's not backing down. Um, you know, so yeah, there there are a lot of people out there that are awesome. And uh, but we need more than one. We need more than one Eric Pratt. We need one more than one G Webs or or Tim at Military Arms Channel. We need more than these. And to a certain extent, we need more Eric and Chads and Yankees and and Jaegers and Hickox and all these guys to, if they do want to get into the political arena talk, 
then let's make sure that we're all talking the same thing. That's my thing. Maybe it's a pipe dream. Maybe it's the, the cake up in the sky that we'll never reach. Uh, but that would be so good in the next couple of weeks to see that happen because um, imagine what the warning shot across the bow of the liberals if we do do that. They're going to sit there and say, you know what, we might uh, we might pull these bills because there's no way we can get this done, and that would be awesome. So, you know, um, like I said, it might be – it might not ever happen, but I think it's something interesting to talk about and to possibly think about doing, And and if we all – Everyone out there, if you send uh, an email or a, a direct message on Twitter or Facebook or even a message in YouTube to all of these guys and we get enough people to sit there and say, hey, you know, I think it might be a good idea if y'all all get into a roundtable, hash out your differences and come up with a strong message, then maybe they start saying, you know, everyone seems to want this. Maybe we should. And let the viewers tell them, you know, they obviously care about what the viewers are doing because that's how they make their money. Um, maybe not through the YouTube itself, but the more viewers and subscribers they have, they can go to these manufacturers and these companies and say, here's what I'm going to charge you. Um, so they're making their money off of the power of information. So let's inform them that this could be a good idea. That's my take, and, and I, I might be wrong about it. You know, even if we don't all agree, which, like you say, is not necessarily even a, a goal, really, just right. that we all have a discussion and we all hone our positions based on more clarity, right? right? Well, the one thing that we do by having our individual audiences, which are focused on our own different interests and our own aspects of shooting or whatever it is that we're bringing our audiences into our projects from, um, by letting people know that we're talking about a fight, they know about the fight. So yeah. again, even if we don't get them all to agree on the same strategy or the same battles, as long as we get some more people fighting, we're winning. Yeah, and that's that's the whole thing. And, and I hope you didn't mind me throwing your name in there. And I, and I don't mean that you have to go do this. I know you're so busy. But I think it's going to take someone like you that has the clout has the respect, but also has a temperament because the last thing we want is a hothead moderating this thing because it could go in 27 different directions. So, um, you know, and I know as we're, we're going to bring this to another thing is um, at the SHOT Show um, in, in Vegas this year, uh, G-Webs is trying to put together a, a Second Amendment, a two-way summit. And... Um, what his plans are, and I'll let him talk about it here a little bit more, but what his plans are is to uh, get a room at one of the hotels at the SHOT Show and use it as a conference room, a war room per se, and then get all the media from the different outlets of TV, magazine, print, radio, YouTube, Instagram, all of it together in a room to where they can feel comfortable. They can get in one room, have some snacks and all that, and discuss the topics, discuss uh, strategies and discuss what each of them are doing and uh, the two-way summit I want to put a link out there while G uh, wants to talk about it but we're gonna uh, let G talk about the two-way summit at shot show and, and what you got going on there but this is this could be uh, really cool as well so G do you have time to talk about that as well yeah and then there's too much mixed messages so I'm not going to talk about it much more since but you brought yeah. it up but uh, the capital rallies are the next thing on the calendar yeah, and the two A summit is just a new project we came up with for, um, like a traveling workshop for uh, uh, whenever the community gets together, and it's not something I want to do. I'm sick of doing stuff. It's not. I don't need my name on this. There's nothing branded to gun websites or gun channels or Every Second Matters even. Uh, it's just uh, I'm sick of not. I'm sick of seeing Shot Show be the same old paradigm every year. Now, it's a trade show, and that's fine, and we're there for the industry, which is fine, but we do bring the industry together in one town for five days or four days, and most of them are there for a long week, right? So we've got old-fashioned established media, so writers, radio show hosts, television, right? We have those people and their crews there, and their crews are elaborate because they are big, big systems. Then we've got uh, the new media. we got bloggers, and we got podcasters. we got Instagrammers. we got Facebook people we got youtubers of course and then uh, all these people are together in one place for a week we have some of the nonprofit groups some of the gun owners rights groups and some of the 
Second Amendment advocates and researchers, the people whose work we reference all the time, those people are there because they're part of the industry. Now, the pr problem we've had in the past getting people together to talk about Second Amendment issues at SHOT Show is that it's a, a four-day event in Vegas, and it runs from business hours, 8 to 5. After business hours, there's all kinds of other events going on, um, everything from parties to business events and other things. So it's difficult to create an event that doesn't stand on, you know, step on a time stand, uh, the, you know, the, the time of another event. Uh, and wherever you put it, people have to get to it. So our effort this year is to have a hotel room in the hotel that's adjacent to the convention center. So that's the Venetian Hotel right next to the Sands Convention Center where SHOT Show is. And we're going to have a room there for the, entire, the entirety of SHOT Show, for the four days of SHOT Show. And it'll be open during the hours of SHOT. And like you said, it's just a room, like a, call it a war room if you want. We're just going to call it a room where Second Amendment advocates and researchers and writers and the gun owners rights groups can put their information or maybe even have someone there. And then the various members of media, both established and new, can come up and get their messages on point. They can find out what's happening and what the most efficient messages to get out there are and maybe share some resources. Some of the new media has tools that the old media could use. Uh, ability to use some of the online tools, for example. The old media has plenty of contacts and knowledge that they can help the new guys out. So maybe there's some ability to share stuff there. There's been other efforts for that kind of thing at SHOT Show, but never with, uh, or at least not in my experience, with the Second Amendment being the main goal. So that's really all it is, is an effort to do that. But again, I'm not trying to do this as my own thing. I just want to put this out there as a project to really involve everyone. So I got to go because Eric's calling me. Okay. That could be an interesting phone call. I'd love to be on that phone call, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think so. He's going to be like, what the hell, man? Why'd you let the Yankee throw me under the bus? Yeah, the, the, the Godfather's getting ready to put somebody in his place, I think. So, uh, no, uh, speaking of which, Nitric, I know you've got uh, hit or miss here in about 10, 15 minutes. Um, oh, we yeah, are going to talk about the Capitol rally, asked, but do you want to uh, – I know you got – kick out of here here pretty soon to get everything set up but uh do you have anything that you want to uh talk about real quick before you head out yeah i, I want to talk about this all right for all those people that said they were going to leave your chat when you started this if they're still listening if they were totally psyching you out if you don't like this video thumbs up this video if you do like this video still thumbs up this video <laughs> okay there's not there's too, too many people watching and not enough thumbs up so Get those thumbs working. That's all I have to say. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, that sound hot. Yeah. Uh, I got him fired up, so hit or miss could be pretty fun tonight, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, make sure here in about 10, 15 minutes. He usually gives me a few minutes after the top of the hour to finish up before he kicks it off. But uh, when this is over, go check out hit or miss over um, on the YouTube side, it's Night Strike One is his channel. If you're on the Gun Channel side, obviously it's under the channel Hit or Miss, so uh, you guys know where it is as well. Um, all right, so the last topic we're going to talk about is actually uh, the one that's coming up next. Uh, it's the November fifth that uh, Matt over at uh, Never Enough Ammo has kind of kickstarted this about three days ago, and it's already gotten. Uh, incredible strength uh, across the country, uh, but he is starting up the uh, the two A Capital Rally, and he is using the hashtag two A Rally twenty seventeen. And uh, basically, what it is is he's trying to get people all over the country to go to their respective capitals on November fifth from ten a.m. to four p.m. And it's a peaceful gathering. This is not going to be a riot or a protest of any means. It's going to be a peaceful gathering of Second Amendment advocates, pro-gun, to uh, do a multitude of things. One is to let our elected officials know that we're very, very serious when it comes to our guns and our rights. You will not change the Second Amendment in any way. You will not take our guns. And this is going to be a big thing. Um, also, to there are obviously could be uh, opposing uh, ideals with people there, and this is going to be a very good opportunity to do two things: one, educate them 
on guns, educate them on uh, gun violence, educate them on um, the murder rates and, and, the, and the acts of murder that have actually decreased as the rate of guns go up in America. These are extremely important statistics to talk about but it's also going to give us a good chance to maybe uh disfigure the stereotype of what general america thinks of gun people and they don't understand necessarily that we're normal people uh that have normal jobs that um do not have uh, son slash cousins you know, we're not these hillbillies that are gun to, are there out there? Absolutely. We all have part of our groups that are, are, are different, but we're not what everyone thinks that we are. And that we are um, very much passionate about the Second Amendment, but we are not these crazy yell, howl at the moon, um, crazy people that they think that we are. We are must stay calm we must educate we must talk these people into understanding that we're just normal law-abiding citizens that enjoy our guns and we enjoy the freedoms that the constitution gives us um let's see here yeah phoenix says nobody said i was normal i know that i'm not normal i i get that um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put out a link and basically what this is is matt has gone on to facebook and started up a Facebook page, and it's called 2A Capital Rally. There is the link to the page. I'm going to put it in the gun channels as well. Um, what you can do is once you're there, you can uh, read all the different posts and updates and all that. Click if you're you know going and all that. But more importantly, he has created an event Scroll down from there for every single state, including Washington, D.C., every single state that you can click on that, and it's in each an individual page. And that's a uh, kind of, uh, uh, yeah, it's a separate page for each individual state. And there you can click if you're going, if you're interested. There's a discussion that you can go in there. And really what Matt is really needing um, is someone to try to step up in each state and say, look, I'm definitely going. I have a few minutes on my hand each day that we need to get the message. We're talking emailing, calling, tweeting, um, everything you can to every single gun shop in your state, every single place that a, a gunsmith, um, anything, anyone that is pro gun, pro second amendment in your state, we need to be on the phone, emailing, tweeting, anything we can do and say, look, we need to get this message out. We need to meet at our capital. We need to peacefully gather. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. On November 5th, it's a Sunday, which is great because most people are off. Um, get the message out there. Contact your congressman. I've contacted my governor, uh, both federal, uh, you know, we're talking U.S. senators and congressmen, uh, all my state representatives and state senators that I know that are pro-gun 2A. Um, I was actually uh, very fortunate enough here in Arkansas to uh, get a permit from the Secretary of State to they're giving us the steps, the front steps of the Capitol building with a podium and a microphone. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to get the uh, president of IDPA. I'm trying to get someone from Wilson Combat. It's based in Arkansas. Trying to get our local uh, organizations, state and local organizations, ranges, anything you can do to get the word out there. We need a massive amount of people to get to each state capital. And I know that everybody here, Clover's working really hard down in Texas. Uh, I know that uh, Night Strike and, and, and Ellis are working through some issues in South Carolina that hopefully those get straightened out. But uh, we, need, we need everybody to be activists in this one and uh, get as many people as we can because it worked in 2013. They had a huge rally in 2013, and you saw what happened. Um, the gun bills went nowhere. The anti-gun bills went nowhere. And so that's kind of what needs to happen here is, <clears throat> like I said, we don't have one big one or two big ones. We've got 25 to 50 small ones that collectively could bring and reshape the second amendment as we know it uh do you guys have any updates on what you would you have going on in your home states by right now uh clover or anyone well i mean i've i don't know i've, I've been sort of 
overshadowed a little bit by Matt, I think, because I'm here in Texas. But, yeah, I'm working things from the uh, Texas State Rifle Association side. Actually, when I'm kind of on Facebook now, um, replying to some um, several businesses and stuff that have have asked about, you know, what's going on. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's up to everybody. Do what you can. Um, I've been sharing my tweets. Uh, Matt actually made me a moderator there on the, the 2A rally page. So I've been able to share some tweets there just to give um, people an idea, you know, who to, who to tweet out to. Because, you I mean, you may not know. I mean, I'm not going to assume that, that people know, but uh, a lot of, uh, you know, political personalities, uh, politicians, uh, uh, entertainers, that sort of thing. And if they Radio get enough hosts or something like that, you know, yeah, exactly. And I mean, if they, you know, if, if I'm the only one that tweets them, that's one thing. But I mean, if they get, you know, 50 or 100 tweets from various people across the country that are saying the same thing, then that that is likely to get their attention. So it's going to require us, us all and not just, you know, not just from one state, but uh, as a nation. Absolutely. Um, anybody else have anything or any updates or any news of what they um, know is going on? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Anything going on in your respective states at all? I'm dying here. Well, here in South Carolina, we've run into a snag. Apparently, uh, Night Strike's got a friend that tried to get a uh, permission to have this thing held on the, in the court, at the courthouse. They said no way that uh, – so we're working around by it, and we're also trying to get a actual Second Amendment group going here in South Carolina because apparently the ones here aren't doing a whole lot. Well, <clears throat> that's right, and and I understand that, and I might be mistaken, but I'm fairly certain that every state capital, there is a law in place that every state capital is required by law to have at least one common area for peaceful gatherings. Uh, and it might be a picnic area. It might be around by the trash dump. But I think they have to have at least one designated area <clears throat> that is open to the public without permit. Now, they might have restrictions on the number of people there. <clears throat> there might be different things. But they have to offer, I believe, at least some area at the Capitol building that is set aside for public demonstrations without permit. So if any of you guys across the country are running into that, what you might want to have to do is call the Secretary of State at that state capitol and tell them what you're trying to do and say, you know, is there a, a common area that the state capitol does allow for public peaceful gatherings with, uh, you know, for the, without permit? And if so, you know, it's probably first come, first serve, and you never know who else is going to be there. But there should be an area that is there, um, you know, to be able to do this. So if you're out there, like I said, um, you know, the biggest thing that I can tell you is if you are not the political type and you don't want to get involved, hey, I understand that. That's That's fine. But if you are and you're willing to go out to the Capitol building on November 5th, then even if it's only you and three others at that Capitol, that's okay. It's not going to be a big deal. As long as someone is there and you're out there exercising your right to peacefully protest uh, bills that are out there that are, are basically infringing upon your constitutionally given rights, uh, that is a huge statement to be made. Um, I plan on being there. Obviously, I, I'm I'm gonna set up. Uh, I think I'll probably uh, give a little speech. Um, I'm hoping that some of the the governor is actually uh, thinking about being there. A couple of state, uh, senators and congressmen are there. One of my uh, U.S. congressmen that from uh, my area of Arkansas is actually one of the co-sponsors of HR 38, the National Reciprocity Bill. So I'd really like to get him there. If he's going to be in Washington, I get it. But maybe he, I even offered an email to uh, maybe send a prepared statement and I would read it. And that could be just as big. So if you have these congressmen or these elected officials that are pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment, and they say they can't be there, ask them if they could prepare a statement to be read to the crowd. 
that could be huge absolutely huge to show the support that that we already have and, and, and all that so that, that that's something you can do also um is there anything else that we need to cover about the two-way capital rally guys Roth cycle camp you guys anything g outlaw you might all want right. to contact uh local gun shops you know uh anybody that might be interested in getting involved in this thing that don't necessarily flock to social media you know stop in say hey look we're doing this thing you know we'd love to have your support you know send an employee on his day off or what have you, if that's what you can do you know just well, anything it, it, to get the word out there yeah and you also have oh, go ahead roth you got some go ahead yeah, where is the page so that people can find it? I, I, I'll put it in the. Uh, I put it on the YouTube. I'll put it out there again. Are you on the YouTube chat, Roth? Or are you on the Gun Channel side? On the Gun Channels. Okay, I'm gonna put it out there on both of them again. It's a Facebook page, and, and it, worst case scenario, if the link is really you can't find the link, go to the Facebook main Facebook page and go to the search and just click in two A Capital with an O Capital Rally, and it should pull up. But there's the link right there in the gun on, on my. Uh, on my gun channels page. I didn't put it in the main lobby. I put it in my page. Uh, so um, you can check that out. Um, and like I said, on that page, you can scroll down. And he has set up an event for every individual state that you can go to that individual state, start a discussion, uh, you know, communicate with others in your state, click on going, uh, and all that good stuff. So that's, that's very important as well. So uh, remember that. And, um, you know, like I said, the biggest thing is, is just to get out there and, and, and be present, be visible. Don't be out there yelling and screaming. And if there's people out there trying to invoke a riot or an argument, let them yell and scream all they want. Let's show the world that we're gun people. That doesn't mean we're crazy. We can hold an intellectual and, and decent and calm conversation and do it the right way and still get our message across. Uh, the stereotypes out there about us are not always good, so let's fight those stereotypes. Um, G brought up a good point we were talking earlier. Is is instead of saying hey, we want everybody to dress nicely and all that, um, no, we're, we're let's not do that. And I I started out by saying that, but actually I like his point because if you sit there and say we're gonna try to dress in church clothes or whatever, that's gonna discourage people. So where would you ever wear whatever you want to wear? You know, whatever you're comfortable in and all that stuff, wear whatever you as long as you're there, that's going to speak more volumes than if we're dressed nicely. Um, you know, it is what it is, but I'd rather have more numbers there being comfortable than no numbers being uncomfortable. So um, what I'm going to do is I think Night Strike's getting ready to start this up here in a few minutes. I'm going to go through the room real quick. Let's check real quick out in the lobby and see if I missed any questions. Um any anything going on out there besides a food chat? Um, let's see here. It's raining in Michigan. Uh, Landrum just said he shared it all over Oklahoma. That's awesome. Keep it up, bro. Um, RL says he doesn't do Facebook, but uh, wanted to know if there's anyone taking the lead in Pennsylvania. Uh, I would say get with uh, Midnight Range TM. He might have a better idea about Pennsylvania than I do. Um, let's see here. They're talking about other things that I don't really want to get into at this On the point. Facebook page, there are 16 people that are interested in Pennsylvania, but no one has put anything in the comments saying they're taking the lead yet, as far as I can see. Okay. So, uh, who was that? Is that RL that asked that? Yeah, yes, RL. RL, sure. Yeah. yeah, RL, um, you know, if, if you are interested in doing that um or taking a lead and guys you don't have to go into facebook and say hey i'm taking a lead it has nothing to do with that you don't have to have a leader it's just nice to have someone that's organizing everything but you know contact your local gun shops and if you have to go on microsoft word and just print out a flyer that says uh two a capital rally november 5th 2017 10 a.m to 4 p.m uh peaceful gathering at the capital discussed second amendment uh Second Amendment activities and actions. Um, print that out and take it to every gun shop you can and say, 
here's what's going on. Can you put this on your door or on your counter and talk about it with all your customers? And that's, that's as good as anything right there. That's spreading the word in itself. So uh, you might not have access to Facebook or email, but anyone can print out a, a self-made flyer and take it to a local gun shop. And that could be huge. Um, so um, yeah. Anybody else have anything to discuss real quick before we run through the room? Yeah. When you say that they are interested, they haven't decided whether they're going or not. Basically what they're saying, and, and this is how I gather interested, and, and Clover might have a better idea when it comes to Facebook than I do, but in my opinion, interested means, hey, I like the idea, but I'm not sure if I'm going yet or not. So we need to, we need to take those interested and make them going uh, because yeah. interested, in my opinion, says, that's eh, a really good idea probably not going to go but i like the idea but at least they got to that that page we need to convert those interests into going and maybe if we engage those people maybe and we get them to help out and they have a little what do they call it a little you know skin in the game maybe they'll convert to going maybe there's a way of saying hey uh, you don't need a leader just show up just be there just be there if 16 people are interested and we can get 16 people to show up, that's huge. If someone says, I'm going, that, that's one person that somebody else will say, hey, he's going. Yep. I won't be there alone because everybody, those people who are interested, they're not going to be there if they think that they're going to be the only guy there or gal. And I might be the only person in Arkansas, but... I'll have a good time with a microphone on the podium for a few hours. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, if, if one person says they're going, that might trigger a chain reaction and said, okay, I'm not going to be the only one there. And that, that might fuel the fire. So you're absolutely right. Uh, if you're going to go, click going, because that could be huge to start the chain reaction. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, it, it's now 10 after 8, and I think Night Strike's doing everything he can to uh, – to stay quiet. So I'm going to go through the room and let you guys plug anything you need to plug, talk about what you need to talk about, and uh, go through. We're going to start with Ellis. Uh, Ellis, what you got going on, man? Oh, Lord. Let's see. I've got several shows coming up. I've got G Webs. I've got Biker Bob. I've got <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, midnight on a show sometime or another. And I've got a barking dog in the background that's free to a good home if you want him. Um, <laughs> um, Tuesday night, I've, like I said, I've got G Webs moving on. Um, other than that, I might pop in on a show here or there. You know me, I'm always around. I understand. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, remember to check out gun channels, support gun channels. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is the uh, an absolutely wonderful source for information on firearms, you know, guys like Cycle Camp, wealth of information on, you know, classic arms from World War II. Talk to these guys. They will not hesitate to answer any questions you've got. Thanks for being here, uh, Ellis. I appreciate you. Uh, Roth, what you got, man? Just freedom. I plug it every day. Absolutely. Uh, for those of you that might not know, Rolf was displaced for a little bit of time during the hurricane. It's nice to have you back, and I uh, hope your life is back to normal, and I can't wait to see you in a few weeks, bro. Uh, let's see here. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's no problem. Uh, Cycle Camp up in Connecticut, do you have any <laughs> parting words or uh, shots across the bow or anything like that? No, I put up a new video of the uh, Springfield Army Museum of it's awesome, Massachusetts. It's, uh, it's just a taste of what's up there. A lot of very interesting guns, and they have probably one of the best collections of serial number one guns I have ever seen. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, yeah, quite a few of the guns, especially if they were made there at the Armory. Uh, they generally have the very first ones, yeah. and those are all out on display. And they have such a depth of uh, display. Uh, uh, and I think the Jim Davis Museum is like this, too, that they don't just have one of one, a kind of gun. They have, you know, dozens. So they can set up dioramas and different displays and use the same guns, you know, period guns over and over again. So if you get a chance, take, take a look. It's on uh, YouTube, and it's also on Gun Channels and also on Vidme. Yeah, I watched it earlier today, and it was awesome. Uh, 
you know, some of those old guns, man, they're just, I mean, they're, they're literally history right there, you know, and it's pretty awesome to see them in a, and preserved in a nice or a, you know, present presentation there. So it's really awesome. Uh, Clover, what you got, bro? Um, well, I mean, I'm over on two a rally page now, uh, tagging, I'm tagging celebrities or not necessarily celebrities, but public figures right now. So, um, yeah, go into your event for your state over there and, you know, just type the, type the at symbol and then start typing the name of, of whoever Ted Nugent or, um, the rock or I, you know, I mean, whoever, you know yeah. what I mean? Obviously not the rock. I think he leans left, but, um, Things like that alone can can garner attention. So, um, if we flood that page with with tags to politicians and public figures and news uh, analysts and things like that, then you know maybe you know the more we tag, maybe the more traction we get. So, that's about all I have to say about it. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, Clover, I appreciate you. I know you're a busy, busy man. G, are you back? Or are you still on the phone? No, I'm back. Uh, you know, I, I know that you you're busy as all get out, and I appreciate everything you're doing. I think we all appreciate everything you do. But do you have anything in closing that you want to discuss or uh, plug anything at this point? Yeah, let's put a shout out there for common sense gun control. You guys don't need these guns that shoot so many bullets out of the clips. Powerful ammo. <sighs> yeah. Muscle devices. By the way, guys, he's extremely sarcastic in this. Psych! Psych! So, uh, don't don't take him for what he's saying. He's trying to he's trying to stir the pot, guys. Don't take him literal. Uh, no, but thanks, G. And like I said, uh, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for Gun Channels. Uh, it's a place that we all have in common, and that's that's all on you. So thank you to to you for that. And thank you for being who you are. And I think we all agree on that message right there. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks, guys. But, hey, guys, Hit or Miss is live right now. So go check out Night Strike and Smeggy and all those guys. Probably a few of us will be jumping on over there as well. Uh, thank you to everyone that is watching and did watch. I really appreciate everybody out there. I do want to send out a shout-out to all my patrons. Thank you very much for your support. I do have a special ops patron out there, patron in the dark. So thank you very much for all you do guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I, you guys probably hear from me all the time, but I, I truly, truly do appreciate everything you're doing. Uh, go check out my, my website, www.ghosttackled.us has all my ventures on there. Uh, go check out gunchannels.com. Awesome community of of uh two-way advocates just gun guys it's it's awesome it's a good place to hang out 24 hour hour uh 24 hour lobby chats awesome go check out all of these guys on youtube and on vidme and on gun channels these guys are putting out great content and they've got some really good um really good stuff out there to check out and check them out on patreon if you're willing to support them but guys thank you so so much for checking us out uh we will see you next week on the halloween edition of tactical tuesday and until next time, guys, simplify.